So the table of Mountain Municipal Assembly is the ninth assembly uh, to have confirmed its uh, president's nominee for the position of the MC in the Bono history and out of the 11. Well, what happened here is that some well-built party supporters, I mean MPP tarts, assisted by, the, by men or officers from the Ghana Police Service ensured that no media person is allowed entry into the hall to cover the processes that transpired uh, in there. They harassed us, manhandled us, and heckled us, some of us, pushed us away or back and ensured that we do not have access into the uh, assembly hall. At the entrance, some men block us from entering. We asked them of a reason why they are not allowing us to enter. They said, uh, from above. We challenged though, and they asked us to go later on and come. We went and later we came resurfaced when they, all the dignities and assembly members were in, trying to get in so that we can get our shorts, prove it out. And it was a hectare scatter. Come and see the brutality of media men, people restraining us from getting inside to do our mandate, our core duty. And uh, you could see the MDCE, who, MCE, who have to come and order us not to enter. At this dispensation or era of this world, do we still entertain this? It was the military intervention that saved us at a point with these people bent on ensuring that no media person is allowed entry into the hall. I realized that no, the NPP um, thugs so or NPP members, they were pushing my other colleagues who were in front there from accessing there. So in there, I, I, I just thought, no, I'll take my camera and record from afar. I tried recording, then all of a sudden, a high-ranking um, police officer comes, approaches me, and attempted to kick my camera to the floor to damage it, or in a, 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 in a way to prevent me from filming what was going on. He even manhandled me in a way, holding me by the back and pushing me away. Again, the military intervened and wakes me away to safety. So this is what happened. The media we were manhandled. We were attacked verbally. We were attacked physically. Luckily, the military intervened. They were uh, those who even carried me from that particular spot safely behind um, whatever was ensuring there. The media personnel who were subjected through this inhuman treatment expressed disappointment at what happened and called on the Regional Security Council to render an unqualified apology and investigate the matter as well. Well, myself as a journalist, I demand an official apology from the RESTEC, because we have the head of um, RESTEC present at that event and we have not heard anything from um, the regional minister. I demand that um, the RESTEC addresses this issue. They, they, they speak on it. Um, they apologize to the affected journalists, me inclusive, because this matter will not die off. We'll follow it up. We'll make sure that um, that particular police officer who attacked me and several others of my colleagues will make sure that he's exposed for what he truly is. We leave the judge to the viewers to judge what is happening. Media, as I'm speaking now, has been kept in the dark. So what do we report from here? The rest involving traveling all the way from Techimine to King, uh, Atebubu. And we are being prevented from doing our mandate. This is serious. And Ghana, we are getting back. Few hours after the unfortunate incident, the nominee, Edward Owusu, we were told, pulled 43 out of 45 valid votes, a figure representing 95.6% of the total votes cast. So this is what we have gathered so far from the Atibu Assembly Hall. My name is Anna Sabet, reporting for joining us.